Hi everyone, in this lesson we're going to understand the three division tables. There are two ways of saying the division tables. If we take 15 divided by 3, we can either say 15 divided into 3 equal parts. So here we have 15 and we divide it into 3 equal parts and there will be 5 in each part. So 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. We can also say 15 divided into 3's. So we take 15 and we divide it into 3's. There are 5 3's here. So we say 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5 also. Now let's look at the 3 division tables. So we're going to start off with 36. Divided into 3 equal parts we'll get 12 in each part. The other way of saying it is 36 divided into 3's will get 12 groups of 3. Now next one, 33 divided into 3 equal parts, there's going to be 11 in each part. We can also say 33 divided into 3's and you're going to get 11 groups of 3. 30 divided into 3 equal parts, you're going to have 10 in each part. Or 30 divided into 3's, and you're going to get 10 groups of 3. 27 divided into 3 equal parts, you're going to get 9 in each part. Or 27 divided into 3's, you get 9 groups of 3. 24 divided into 3 equal parts, you're going to have 8 in each part. Or 24 divided into 3's, is going to give you 8 groups of 3. 21 divided into 3 equal parts, you're going to get 7 in each part. Or 21 divided into 3's, you're going to get 7 groups of 3. 18 divided into 3 equal parts, you're going to get 6 in each part. But if you get 18 and divide it into 3's, you're going to have 6 groups of 3. 15 divided into 3 equal parts, you're going to get 5 in each part. But 15 divided into 3's, you're going to get 5 groups of 3. 12 divided into 3 equal parts, you're going to get 4 in each part. Or 12 divided into 3's, you're going to get 4 groups of 3. 9 divided into 3 equal parts, you're going to get 3 in each part. And 9 divided into 3's will give you also 3 in each part. And then 6 divided into three equal groups, you're going to get two in each group. Or six divided into threes, you're going to get two groups of three. And finally, if you get the number three, and you divide it into three equal parts, you're going to have one in each part. Also, if you get the number three, and divide it into a group of three, you'll have one group of three. Great work! You now hopefully understand your three division tables. Keep up the great work and see you soon. Thank you for watching. Please click like, subscribe, and click the notification bell.